Hey guys, John from the John Muir Show here, and it's probably not going to come as any surprise to you that for countless folks on the left, they hate President Trump. I mean, they really, really, really hate President Trump. They hate President Trump. They hate President Trump's actions. They hate President Trump's words. They hate one of President Trump's main slogans dating back to the beginning of his presidential campaign, Make America great again. And you just had the Huffington Post, the far left Huffington Post, come out and publish this piece about how oh, white nationalists across the country are really embracing Make America Great Again. That slogan, the hats that go along with it, all of it. And apparently that was, you know, such a great piece that it was endorsed by someone who's totally objective, not at all still bitter about the results of President Trump's 2016 election victory, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, she tweeted about it and talked about, oh yeah, this is so great. Yep, they're right on. Yeah, the white nationalists, they really seem to be embracing Make America Great Again as a white nationalist slogan, says the failed presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Huh, really? So so because you do have some racist individuals who support President Trump and who say the phrase, make America great again, that makes it racist? Huh, well that's interesting because you do realize there were racist groups that supported Donald Trump in the 2016 election, that is true, but there were also racist groups that supported you, Hillary Clinton, back in the 2016 election, Black Lives Matter for one, and uh, I don't hear you saying that, oh, because some racists supported me, Everything that I said, everything that I did was racist. Yeah, that I'm with her slogan I used over and over again, racist because some racists support me. I haven't heard you saying any of that, Hillary. You see, there's a difference. President Trump, sure, he has had the support from some racist groups, but it's all about how President Trump has responded. He has denounced those racist groups by name. On the other hand, there were racist groups that voted Hillary Clinton in 2016 that voted for Barack Obama in past presidential elections. You know what Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama haven't done? They have not condemned those racist groups by name. In fact, at Barack Obama, he even embraced one of the racist groups that supported him. You remember, he invited Black Lives Matter, racist group, to the White House. He was all buddy-buddy with them, having lunch and all that. That is how Barack Obama treats the racist groups that supported him. He embraces them. On the other hand, Donald Trump, he has denounced those racist groups, the Klan, the neo-Nazis, the white nationalists, by name. There is a huge, huge difference right there. You cannot be held accountable for who supports you. The only thing you can be held accountable is for your own words, your own actions, how you respond to those groups that support you. President Trump gets an A for condemning those racist groups that have voted for him. Uh, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, they get an F for being friends with the racists who have supported their campaigns in the past. I, I mean, it's just, it's absolutely unbelievable that Hillary Clinton has the audacity to come out here and say stuff like this, that the Huffington Post has the audacity to come out here and say stuff like this. Look, sadly, racism does exist, yes, but it is being denounced by so many conservatives. I wish that more of our liberal friends would join us in denouncing all racism, not saying, oh, we're only going to denounce racism that votes on the other side of the aisle. Racism that supports us, totally fine. That is the Democrats' current stance, and that absolutely needs to change going forward. And for anybody out there who keeps on saying about, oh, I can't stand the phrase, make America great again. I hate that phrase so much. Yeah, for any of you who've been saying that, that really goes to show something, that you care more about hating President Trump, opposing everything President Trump says, than you care about what that phrase itself says, supporting your country, wishing what is best for your country. You leftists hate President Trump more than you love the United States of America. That is telling on you, and that shows that you never really loved the United States of America in the first place. That's all the time that we have for today, but tune into the John Muir Show each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m. WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.